Good morning. Welcome back to snorkel.tv. You're late. Today's lesson, we're going to focus on creating a rough ease using the green sock tweening platform. If you pay attention to the Swift I have running right here, you'll notice that when I roll over this text that it flickers and scales seemingly erratically. It's not your typical smooth, creamy, buttery tween uh, that you're used to when using tween max or tween light. And every now and then you're going to want to have this sort of effect, especially when you're doing something that's sort of spooky or, you know, maybe a little grungy or MTV-ish. So here we have an example of a rough ease that's affecting the flickering of this text and also the flickering of the light that is illuminating our scary skeleton down there. Uh, typically what you will be doing with any sort of tweens is probably going for more the smooth and creamy effect that we have here. But again, we want to rough this up a little bit. I want it to be all erratic and in your face, so to speak. So what we're going to do is take a look at the ease visualizer, which you get whenever you download the green sock tweening platform and it's inside of your demo Swifts folder. And I'll probably have a separate tutorial on really understanding everything that you're seeing here, but we're really going to focus today on creating a rough ease. So what we can do with this tool is we can pretty much experiment with all the different types of eases that come with uh, the green sock tweening platform. Here we have a back dot ease out. Um, you'll probably be focusing on this green dot here as it moves, and you'll see that it starts out really quick, goes beyond its ending point, and then comes back to where it should rest. Whenever you're looking at one of these ease graphs, again, I'll explain this in another tutorial, just keep in mind that wherever you see a steep line, that means things are moving very quickly, and wherever that line flattens out, it means you have a slower motion. So. When we visualize this, you'll see that that ball starts off very quickly. That's represented by this steep line right here, and towards the end it slows down and we have a very flat line over here. We'll look at one more ease really quick, and I'll do a circ ease out. And again, you'll notice that it's steep at the beginning. So when I visualize this, it starts really quick, and then as that line flattens out, we are slowing down because as that line flattens out, our rate of change over time is decreased. Again, I'm going to talk about this in much more detail later, but let's get to the heart of the matter, which is a rough ease. So here we have an ease that's really smooth. If I say make rough, well, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to jag it up a little bit. All right, so we have this ball getting all erratic over here and bouncing around. Now there are a few different parameters we can set here. If we adjust the strength and make that 5, you'll notice that it's much more extreme, the changes that are happening over time. Um, the number of points pretty much dictates how many times this ease is going to freak out while it's running. If I set this down to 5, you'll notice that um, we have much fewer points here. Um, what I want to also, you'll notice that at some points that the ease goes below the initial value and it greatly exceeds the ending value. Whenever the line comes outside of this box, we're either going beyond the ending point or below the starting value. Um, what I'm going to do is also show you that we can randomize this. So every time I tween, it's going to be different because all those values will be randomized. Let's check that off. And let's go over to a bounce ease, I'm sorry, a back ease in out, which means that when the tween starts, it's going to go below the starting value and then it's going to exceed the ending value. All right, and in the middle, steep line means it's happening very quickly. So keep your eye on the ball here and you'll see it goes back out, above, and then back down. In the middle, it's like a rocket and then it just eases back into position. Uh, this is the sort of style that I want with my flicker because I want the alpha to go below zero, above zero, and back and forth in between really jaggedy. And the same thing with my scale. I want the movie clip to scale 
and be less than its original value and also freak out and get above its maximum value. So here what I'm going to do is say make rough and I'm going to say make rough and visualize and the strength here is way too strong for what I want. So I'm going to bring that strength down to two and set my points to about eight. And now when I visualize you will see that throughout the lifespan of this tween that we are going below the starting value. So if I start at a scale of five, that means that I can go down to four or three. And if I'm going up to a scale of one, I should say 0.4 or 0.3, I can go maybe up to 1.5, up to 2% the natural size, I'm sorry, 200% the natural size. But again, we have some pretty cool erratic behavior going on here. Restrict min and max will automatically force the tween to stay within this box. So our values will never be less than what we started out or exceed our ending values. Um, but I'm gonna turn that off. And here, I'm pretty happy with this ease. You'll just notice that that ball is going way below where it starts and way above where it's supposed to end. My tween is gonna be about half a second and you'll see we just get this really quick erratic behavior. Now I could play around with this thing all day, but I'm pretty happy with these settings right now. Um, all I'm going to do is go to the sample code and you'll see that this works with tween light. You don't need to activate any additional plugins. Um, it'll also work with tween max, but all I'm interested in right here is the ease parameter where we create a rough ease. And I'm just gonna take everything right here. I'm gonna copy it. We're gonna go back to Flash, and in my start file, I already have you know, all the actions and hooks in place for this really smooth ease that's happening. All I need to do now, without activating any additional plugins or anything else, is in my button over code, where I'm telling my Flickr MC, which is the text, that it's going to do a from to tween, meaning that I'm specifying where the tween will start and where it will end, um, I'm using this because basically whenever I'm changing scale on a movie clip, uh, when I roll over it, especially when I'm going to a scale value less than where it starts, um, by specifying the beginning and ending value, um, I get the most consistent results. So for the ending values right here, these are the starting values. We're going to start at a scale of 0.9 and an alpha of 0.2, and we're going to tween up to a scale of 1 and an alpha of 1. Here, I'm going to specify my new easing. So I'm just going to copy and paste, and we'll test this movie out. And now, there is my flicker. You'll see that the text is getting much smaller than it started, and it's flickering, as well as getting much larger than it's supposed to be, and doing that really quick erratic bounce. Now, for this light effect coming on, uh, you'll notice that um, it's happening very smoothly. Okay, and I want to just change the alpha of the mask that's revealing that skeleton with a little bit of the same flicker effect. So in my actions, you'll see that I also have tween max doing a from to on my masker. Um, we're using a variable transparency mask here. Um, I'll talk about that in another tutorial, but you can download these sample files if you want to uh, see how I have a gradient that's as acting as a mask so the mask is not a solid color. Um, let's go to our from two here, and we're changing the X property here too also to get a little bit of a shake back and forth. And I'm just gonna paste in my easing code. We'll test the movie out, and now that light on the skeleton flickers as well. So we got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, again, you could spend a lot of time with the ease visualizer making a rough ease. But really, if you're just starting out with tween max and tween light, I would strongly suggest that you use it simply as a tool to get a better understanding of how each one of these eases works. All right, here this quint ease in, again, it starts very flat. That means it's gonna start very slow. And then abruptly, it's going to shoot up very quickly. Wherever the line is steep, it means things are happening very fast. Let's make this tween two seconds long, and you'll see it starts out hardly moving and then shoots up towards the end. 
Um, when trying to figure out how these eases work, I would recommend using a long duration so you can really get an understanding of how these eases affect your tweens over time. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Um, please be on time next time, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.